going to do a little demonstration today to show you how to do the slip stitch. A lot of my projects and patterns have um, this stitch in them just to join um, the hand stitch, joining two pieces of fabric together without seeing. It's also called the blind hand stitch. Um, it's a really handy stitch. It's really easy to do, but I just thought I would show on this little um, pumpkin ball that I'm making with felted wool sweaters. And so you, what you want to do first is find a, fab, or a, a thread that matches somewhat one of, it doesn't matter, it doesn't need to match obviously both of the, the fabrics, but one fabric. So I'm just, I just chose a, a brown thread. And I'll just be threading my needle. I like to use, I like to double my thread just to make um, it more strong, especially with, some, with a pillow or something like this. So I've just threaded my needle and I'm going to pull it. I'm going to give myself, there's nothing more frustrating than, than halfway through your project run out of thread. So um, I'm, a good rule of thumb is to double the, the, the length of the, whatever you're sewing clothes. I like to even do more than that just to make sure you have plenty of thread to work with. So I've doubled that thread and I take the, the two ends of the thread and just to do an easy knot, an easy thing to do is just to take the end and roll it around your finger a few times and then just roll it between your fingers and then pull and then you'll get a, a knot there at the end. So to start, to start sewing, you'll take your needle and you'll just stick it into the end of the project there the end of the, the end the seam that you so you did with the sewing machine up from the bottom pull it out and then I'm just going to take little stitches imagine there's a seam line this is the seam allowance here just like the, the we did with the sewing machine we're going to continue that imagining that's where the, that seam line is and we're going to just stitch on that seam line it doesn't have to be if it's exact or not but so I'm just going to take my needle, the thread that's come out and it's knotted. I'll take a little stitch right close to there, just about like that, and pull it. And then I'm going to go directly across from that and take another little stitch and pull. So you're just going to, like you were making a seam here, just little stitches, making sure that the seam allowance is tucked inside. So I'm just going to you'll see how that work, kind of pulls it together as we go, making sure that everything is tucked inside. So right from that other the last thread on that side, I'm just going to poke it, make a stitch and pull. I'm just going to continue that. All the way to the other side. So I've continued to sew and I'm getting close to the edge. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish a few stitches there. You see how it lines up really nice. Just do a little bit past that seam. And then I'm going to take my needle and bring it out just past under and underneath. I'm going to take a little stitch right by the thread. I'm not going to pull it all the way through. I'm going to leave a little loop. I'm going to wrap my needle around a couple times around that in that loop and just hold it while I pull it and it'll make a little knot at the end. And just to secure that and make sure that we don't see the tail of the thread, we're going to stick it in right by the thread and somewhere out into the ball or wherever and pull it through and then clip my thread. And then there you have it. So it's all sewn together. You can't even see where the, the, the stitches are. And there we go.